Have you ever searched to see where your website ranks on Google specifically for the things that you're trying to be found for? Not people searching for your business by name, because if they know your company name, they likely know your website address. What I'm talking about are the things that you do to help prospects that they might be searching for in Google. Have you ever stopped to search and figure out where you are? Understanding where you rank is important because it lets you know what you need to do to improve. It gives you clues and insights into what marketing, specifically with search engine optimization, you should be doing, what kind of content you should be creating. Now, if you don't know what people are searching for, I have another video that you can watch for that. I might link it in the comments. However, today I want to show you, teach you how, step by step, that you can do this search for free on two different tools, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. The reason why this is so important is because if people don't know that you your company exists, but you could help them with whatever it is they're looking for, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing them a disservice. So right now what I have up is a tool called Moz. Now I really like Moz. Moz is simply M-O-Z. It's right here, it's moz.com. So you can get started by going to Moz. I actually have a, uh, what they call a browser extension loaded for Chrome. And it allows me to monitor websites, domain authorities without any issue. It's really easy. It's just always there, okay? But in this case, I want to show you how to do it. So what I did is I started at my website, and then I went to my Moz and turned it on. And then down here below, I clicked on these links. And when I click on the links, it takes me here to this link overview. And it tells me some cool things, right? It tells me my page authority, which is a 36. These scores are out of 100. Domain authorities is 16, again, out of 100, so I have some work to do. How many linking domains there are, inbound links, and this is the thing right here that we're looking at today, the ranking keywords. Now, this one shows that I only have two, which is interesting because the other tool shows a different number, but that's okay. When you click on this, it'll take you to, it'll open another tab, depending on how you've got your uh, browser set up, but mine opened a new tab. And it shows me right here the two ranking words that it's finding Digital media, social media, which is definitely something I want to rank for because at my company, at Bowman Digital Media, that's what we do. We help people with digital media and social media, all right? Also, it says digital media consultant, which is what I am, all right? Now, this is what's interesting. This is what you want to look at. Exact page. It's saying that I'm ranked number 30. That means I'm on page three for that, which is not great because most people won't go past page one. So if I want to increase my ranking for digital media, social media, which I do, I have to create more content around this. Again, I have other videos that teach you how to do that, but this is important, okay? Digital media consultant, I actually rank 49th for that. Now that is worse than 30 because this means I'm on page four, right? Google, if you don't know, Google separates their search results in stacks or groupings of 10. So if you're 30, that means you're on page three. But the good news for me is as soon as I get that to 29, actually, no, that doesn't. I've got to get all the way to I've got to get all the way to um, 20 to get to the next page. So here I'm I'm on page three, but I'm at the end of page three. OK, so let me show you one other thing that's important about this. This is actually on this exact page, BowmanDigitalMedia.com. That's my home page. So that doesn't it's not showing rankings for words on other pages like my seo page or my social media page or my photography page or video page you understand so this is just looking at the home page now another tool where you can do the same thing if you prefer this tool and it's it's more popular for sure this is sem rush okay and sem rush both moz and sem rush have free versions and paid versions now i'm using the free version for this demo on both so i'm not logged in okay now on this one, if we come down, this shows me organic position distribution. Now this is really helpful in one sense because it's showing me where I rank for different 
keywords. I have 11 keywords on my website, the whole website. Now, this isn't just one page. This is the whole site, which is why it's different. OK, but it's saying I have 11 of them that rank between positions four and 10. Now, that's on the first page. So that's really good because 75 percent of people will never go past the first page on Google. They'll just look what's on the first page. So that's where you want to be. This is where I'm making my money with Google. OK. This right here, one through three, is positions one through three, which is the top of the first page. And it's saying, SEM Rush is saying that I don't have any that rank on Google in position one, two, and three. So I still have some work to do. Okay. Now it's also saying that I have eight on the second page, which is 11 through 20. I can make a little bit of money with those because there are some people who will, about 9% of people will go over to page two on Google. So I can still be found here. All right. Now, pages 20 or positions 21 through 50, that's pages two through five. I'm sorry, three through five, three through six, excuse me. And 51 through 100, that's pages six through 10. Now, I'm not making any money on these rankings, but I can look inside of this and see what those are and work on content that will improve those rankings as well. OK, so again, you can go to SEM Rush. Or you can go to Moz and you can get this information that I'm recommending you do. You should be doing these searches on a regular basis at least once a month. Why? Because then you can let your team, whoever's writing your content, you can give them specifics on what to write about, what content to create. Okay. So if you haven't been checking, don't worry about it. Maybe you didn't know. But now you know that checking is important. Why? Because if you come to Google... If we come over to Google, people most likely are not going to search Bowman Digital Media, right? They're not going to do that. Why? Because they don't know I exist. What are they going to search instead? Well, they might search for where can I get a digital marketing consultant? And that's a keyword that I rank for. Now, if they click on that, now I know I'm, a, I'm not on page one. I'm all the way on page three, according to Moz. But here, this is another thing for another video, but this is um, Google Maps. So make sure you're Google certified business and that you get yourself on the map. Because even though I'm not or in the organic results, I am the top search result for that in my area, which is extremely important. So I can get some work that way too. But where you want to be, is right here. This is the very top organic search result. That would be position one. This is position two and position three. This is where most of the money on Google is made. And then if, as you scroll down, these are positions four through 10. And to get to the next page, somebody would have to do that, but they don't typically do it, okay? So you wanna get on the first page. You really wanna get in these first three positions. All right, that's the end of this lesson. My name is Ira Bowman. Look, if this was overwhelming or confusing in any way and you need help, reach out to me and we'll see if we can help you get the information that you need to create the content that you need so that you can increase your ranking on Google and you can ultimately drive more business by being exposed to more of the pros prospects out there who are looking for what it is that you do. My name is Ira Bowman. Have a great day, everybody. digitalmedia.com